Hey, it's old Brookie. Do you ever wonder what all these knobs do on a Strat and the switch? Maybe even the whammy bar. How does it work? What is that stuff there? Why are there screws here? <laughs> There's a lot of questions you might have about a Strat. Well, first of all, one thing I like to tell people when they're just starting guitar is check out this part of your guitars. Check out that contour. That's where your rib cage fits right in there. It's kind of nice. Kind of a nice, smooth thing that feels good. Feels good right there. All right. Then you've got a contour here for your arm. Um, so you've got three pickups. Pickups are like microphones, really. They pick up the sound of the string. All right. There's three of them. This one's the bridge pickup. It's closest to the bridge. This one's the neck pickup, it's closest to the neck, and there's the middle pickup. This switch here selects those pickups. If this is towards the floor, you're gonna get this one, the bridge pickup, which gives you a real bright sound. Check it out. Beautiful. Now let's flip it that way and get the neck pickup. This is a lot softer sound. We're getting a, a more smooth, mellow sound. And let's flip it back. There's nothing wrong with switching that while you're playing. That's why we hold a pick like that. So you can hit that with your pinky. You can flip it anytime you want. Or just remember when you go down, you're getting more treble. When you come up this way, it's more bassy. Let's flip it to the middle position. You're gonna get the middle pickup. really love that bridge pickup but as I get older I appreciate the, ne the neck and middle position all right so that's just got kind of a nice middle normal normal sound it's really calm and some I was always kind of offended that people would pick that one it's so kind of middle of the road I want extreme treble or extreme bass but like I say it's just got a nice normal sound all right there's more if you flip it back one click you get these two together, which is, oh, it's, they used to call it like out of phase. I'm not really sure what the technical term is. It's just combined pickups, and it gives you this weird kind of nasal honky sound. A slight quack. Kind of ducky sounding. So from, the, from here, the bridge, those two combined, the middle, one more forward, it's these two, which is another kind of sort of out of phase sound. So don't be afraid to flip that flipper. Um, here's your master volume. Woo, loud. I roll that with my pinky. If I want to roll it down. Or the ring finger. So you can have it turned down for your rhythm. And crank it up a little bit for your solo. All right, this knob 
is your tone control for this pickup. The neck pickup tone control. It really kind of kills the pickup, but if you've got some overdrive or some fuzz, it can be really cool. It sounds kind of warm, not so harsh. To me, it just sounds like it mutes it so much, so I usually have that one cranked all the way up. Now, if we flip back to the middle pickup, this will be the control for that uh, treble. Kind of crackly, isn't it? That's a kind of a crackly pot, so you can just kind of work it like this and that crackle might go away. Not a big deal. But that does sound pretty muted and flabby. Okay, strangely enough, when you go to this pickup, normally there's no tone control. So this is the one that needs it the most, but it's very shrill with no way, no knob to uh, turn down that treble. However, I had this modified, so this will turn the, the treble down. Yeah, these electronics are getting a little old. I've done hundreds of gigs with this guitar. It's a little beat up. So that's your volume, neck tone, middle tone, five-way switch, three pickups. Uh, this is the whammy bar, which is pretty fascinating. You should probably study this. Um, there's a plate that screws onto the body with these six screws. There's six saddles that screw in right here. The strings go through the saddles. Each saddle has two Allen wrench, uh, Allen, uh, what are those little things? Screws that you can raise and lower each saddle. Plus you can set intonation here with these six screws. The bar goes through the uh, plate into the block. And the block screws into the plate. The block is attached to the screw with six springs. The screw screws into the body with two screws. There's also a ground wire that is soldered onto the uh, claw. So when I use the, when I depress this whammy bar here, down, you can see that's moving, the plate moves. It rocks on those six screws. And you can see back here, this is the block. And these are the springs. So the springs, the strings go through the block and come out and attach up to the tuning pegs. Pretty cool. Cool, man. So the whammy bar is pretty great. Uh, on Van Halen's first album, he just had a normal Strat tremolo system. You could do those great super dive bombs and everything. But that will put you out of tune, <laughs> as if I'm not out of tune enough already. You've got to have, you have to have a really well-made nut. Your tuners, your tuners have to be in good condition. Um, strings have to be installed correctly. And this has to be set up right. So it's kind of a hassle to get them dialed in. I happen to have locking tuners, and that's not really helping me stay in tune so great here. But this guitar just needs to be played a little more. Um, so 
Also, just for fun, the neck is attached with four screws that go through this plate, through the body, and into the neck. There you go. So this is a this is like a, a mutt strap that I made out of a 60s reissue strap body, a uh, some sort of 60s reissue telly neck, Spurzel pegs, Kinman pickups, Callaham uh, bridge. So it's all kind of aftermarket stuff, pretty much, but uh, it's still. When I gotta play like a difficult gig or kind of a long gig, and I haven't, you know, I'll bring this one because I'm. It's just gonna make it through the night. It's gonna do everything it needs to do, and it will stay in tune. It just needs to be played. The strings need to be stretched. They, the strings, uh, will settle in to the room temperature and will stretch out, and. You just got to keep, you just got to keep an eye on the tuning with the Strat. They're they're a little bit squirrely, but not a big deal. Just tune them frequently, play the heck out of them, and you'll be fine. Don't be afraid to flip that flipper or turn those knobs or try the whammy bar. If you do try the whammy bar, you're probably going to have to tune up again, unless you're pretty lucky to have it set up perfectly. So that's about all I know about it. And I'll just tell you one more time, we do have these Surf Zombie blue shirts available. If you want one, I'll send you one, let me know. And we do have these crazy hats that uh, I can send you one also. So keep rocking, and uh, that's all I know about strats, man.